Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where today I am back on the War Thunder Update 1.87 development server and I'm going to be taking a look at the Tungushka. Now this is of course the brand new Soviet anti-aircraft vehicle with tier 7. Tier 7, 10.0 BR, you have 8 uh, 9M311 anti-air missiles as well as 4 30mm automatic cannons and a turret rotation of 52.2 degrees per second. Pretty insane there, what you would expect really from an anti-aircraft vehicle. Vertical guidance of the guns is minus 9 and plus 85. 2,000 shots per minute. Uh, the guns have just less than 2,000 rounds though. Reload rate of 4.9 seconds, crew of 4, you have a weight of 34 tons and an engine which produces 710 horsepower, so you can actually get to a top speed of 40 miles an hour. So decent mobility from this vehicle, and as you can see the armor as expected is paper, and there's the missiles, uh, there's the guns in x-ray, and you can see the four crew members driver down in the chassis and the rest of the crew are up in the actual turret. Now, in terms of modifications, you have these separate rounds that you can research. Um, they cost 12,000 silver lions if every time you take them out. That's pretty damn expensive. Your games, if you take those rounds out and get killed them quickly, you are going to lose quite a few silver lions very quickly. Customization is what you would expect. All of the standard Soviet skins, uh, tricolor, camouflages, bicolor, just various different um, camo types for different landscapes. It's all what you would expect. It's the same for most high tier Soviet tanks, actually. Um, but there's all the camo. Uh, sort of camo options, obviously same stuff as normal tanks, you can change the condition and such. So let's go into a test drive and uh, show you some clips now of destroying aircraft, tanks. Here's a uh, Sam hitting a Sabre. As you can see, they are user guided, they're pretty pretty damn powerful. We can kill the Leopard, uh, kill Leopards easily, MBT is not a problem. Uh, as you can see, potential him. So generally tanks, the guns will kill very easily, especially when you're using the armor piercing rounds and you can also kill tanks with the, um, with the Sams, uh, which is pretty damn good actually this thing is an absolute beast and as you're going to see in a minute i have some actual gameplay from the dev server against other people and it's pretty damn interesting to watch um yeah it's it's pretty deadly so as you can see driving along um and here's a challenger too he shoots me it it either ricochets or just goes straight through uh but i'm just here i've knocked out his gun and knocked out his driver he can't really do anything uh his gun's broken so i just have to move forward and i just i just sort of fire a missile and you know, that ends him, and that was uh, a kill on a Challenger too. Pretty pretty damn good there. Uh, next up, uh, yep, Leopard <laughs> just drives out in front of me, and it's like, yep, I'll have that, please. Uh, go around the corner, and what is that? Ooh, it's a Challenger. Challenger 1. So, fire some shots in, get me a kill. Uh, there are two more enemies. I crit a Challenger, crit a ZSU, and then I do get killed by the ZSU. Obviously, no armor, so other SPAAs are certainly a major threat. So, this game, this was a really good game, actually. I got six kills, uh, one of which, uh, six kills in this vehicle that is one of which I don't show because it was a bot but there we go killed a challenger um, this clip's really good actually if you if you watch my previous dev server videos I did upload this as a single uh, single video clip so I'm going along and oh it's a BMP and yeah he's dead uh, turn the turret keep a look around and ooh, what's that over there oh it's a warrior kill him keep moving along um, and I'm looking over there, I did shoot, obviously, a, a Japanese IFV, and there we go, he's now dead. Go around this corner, um, just begin to move down, really, I'm just sort of flanking around the B point to get to a safer position to cap, and oh, there we go, ZSU, and that is four kills. So, that game was pretty damn good, I was very happy with that for sure, uh, and I did then go on to capture the base, and my team won the game. I started doing crew rep, but by the time my team won, um... I still hadn't finished it, but nonetheless, great game there in this thing. This thing is a beast. The missiles can be used for, obviously, anti-air, and the guns can be used for anti-air, and you have radar, which, very useful, very, very useful. Anyway, though, now that we looked at this, let's move on to the T-80U. So now getting into the info that you, of course, all want to know. What is the stats of this tank? So first off, it is the first Russian Tier 7 main battle tank. 10.0 rating as of this iteration of the dev server. Weapons, uh, your main gun is a 125mm cannon. Same one, I believe, as on the previous T-80B. And you also have a 12.7mm machine gun on the roof. And then a coaxially mounted 7.62mm machine gun. Turret rotation of 17.3 degrees per second, bit slower than other MBTs, but still not too bad. Vertical guidance, minus 5, plus 15. 20 degrees overall gun movement there. Not a huge amount, but that is what could be expected with the Russian tanks. 7.1 second reload, faster than most, not quite as quick as the M1A1. Crew of 3, 
I don't like Russian tanks because of this. Very low survivability due to a low amount of crew members. Um, you do then also have... This weighs 42 tons. And you can reach top speed of 43 miles an hour. It's a fairly mobile tank. So, it's pretty decent. As you can see, this does have various things like... Um, it has got the composite armor plates, but also integrated ERA, especially on the upper frontal plate. You have the Contact 5 ERA, and it's actually integrated into the tank. So, uh, rather interesting design there. Uh, I don't believe we've seen much integrated ERA uh, in the game. Mostly it's just panels that have just been put on as secondary armor. This is actually a part of the tank. So, rather interesting to see there. And that's why the upper frontal plate is such sort of a, an a uneven shape. It's got all the... Uh, all the bits and so now after looking through I did get all the uh, get all the mods and now I can take a look at it so tier one tracks parts horizontal drive and your uh, your first um, and only heat FS shell tier two suspension brake system uh, FPE of course you want to get that early on smoke grenades uh, adjustment of fire and the laser range finder laser range finder very useful filters tier, uh, crew replenishment and also elevation mechanism and then you get your ATGM the 9M119 which is very useful ATGMs you can only carry five of them but they are useful Jumping down to tier 4 though, you obviously have transmission, engine, uh, exhaust smoke system, artillery support, and then your final uh, APFS DS round, which has a decent amount of pen. Um, generally this round, it's, it's obviously not the best in the game, but it is a fairly decent round that will come in handy. And obviously with camouflages, again like on the uh, on the Tunguska, you have lots of different camo choices uh, ranging from many different environments, and these are generally the common ones you'll find on most Soviet tanks. So there we go, all the camos, um, generally just basic stuff. So let's, now that we look to that, let's go and uh, go do a test drive with this thing. Um, so we've got the basic rounds, I do not have the ATGM, um, I, I sort of chose not to bring it. Um, you can only carry five of them, there is a limit, there's a set limit. So there's not really a huge amount of point, it's just going to be an explosive thing that you have. The only reason is you might take a few to try and deal with helicopters. Uh, that's the only reason I can really think of. Using them against other tanks doesn't tend to be that effective at higher tier, to be honest. Anyway, though, um, so here's some enemy tanks. Um, a Leo straight through the frontal plate killed the crew. Um, Leopard 1s are fairly easy, actually, because three crew members are very nicely lined up down the center. So you can generally uh, knock them out with relative ease. Um, not actually using scope right now. I'm just sort of... Um, uh, going into for example, basically the simulator view, I'm just sort of uh, zooming in to be uh, a view above above the turret. Um, I find with Russian Russian tanks that they have a very low profile, so this view actually works quite well. Uh, I only really use scope when the target's a fair distance, and I actually need to accurately aim at a specific point. Uh, if it's if you know you're facing things where you can generally pen them in most places, there's not a huge amount of point. Uh, there's no one Abrams, so going to move out a bit, see if we can get some hits. I'm going to try maybe a yeet shot on the move. Yeah, we set him on fire, so certainly not too bad. Um, generally, you can kill the Abrams quite well. Uh, again, like I advise multiple times. Uh, generally in videos, if the tank I'm in can face the Abrams, I will give some advice. And the thing is with the Abrams, you want to aim for the turret ring in between the turret and the chassis. The very sort of thin armor gap there. That will go through. Your shell will generally fragment and knock out the entire turret of the Abrams. Uh, or you can go for the lower frontal plate. They're the two major spots I would advise uh, shooting at. So here I'm in a game on the dev server. Um, I'm in a sneaky spot right now, and oh, is that a challenger? Yep, challenger too. So reverse up, get the gun on target, he drives past, and bang, there we go. Ammunition explodes. Uh, he's uh, in chassis, uh, so he's sort of um, secondary ammunition store, went up there. So here we got a uh, Sheridan. I hit him, set him on fire, knock out the gunner. He does reverse. Um, moving along though, I notice there's an M1, so I fire a shot in. Uh, he can no longer shoot, he can no longer load. So all it takes is one more shot. Uh, again, I, I go for the lower frontal plate this time. Um, and that gives me the kill, knocking out the driver. He only has one crew member left now, so that was uh, that was all I needed. Uh, I see the Sheridan again, reverse up, although he has his gun on me, and unfortunately an ATGM hits me. And that is the one weakness with this thing, an ATGM, the mantlet area is very weak. So as you see, the ATGM hit the mantlet and just exploded inwards, killing two of the three crew members, which did uh, did kill me. But nonetheless, the TATU and the Tangushka, two new Russian tier 7 vehicles, are very good actually. Uh, Tangushka, it's more of a meme vehicle. It's, it's, it's a bit of a yeet vehicle. You just go in, just yeet it and just get some kills. This, um, 
I will admit I'm not the best with Russian tanks. Uh, I didn't really click with the TATU. I didn't really get good gameplay with it, but I really enjoyed the Tungushka, so take a look at it on the live server or on the second dev server and see what you guys think. Anyway, though, thanks for watching. Going to end the video there, so thanks for watching. More dev server stuff soon, and uh, I guess I will see you in the next one.